Let's try and get this thing. There we go. Oh, I, I hit it, but I exploded myself. I, I, I was committed to the cause, guys. Can't get you out of my... Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, and whatever else you guys may celebrate around your neck of the woods. Just have a happy Friday. Today we're going to be playing some more Besiege, checking out some of the best Besiege creations that I could find in this very Christmassy episode. Actually, it's not really that Christmassy at all. Besides this, I, I, I guess you would consider it a tree. There's no other Christmas thing, so I'm sorry, okay? But we're not here for Christmassy shit. We want destruction. This is Besiege, so let's get into it and have some fun. <laughs> Look at all the stuff falling so damn late. And what's up with this thing just hanging out up here floating? That's great. Okay, and to start off with, we got Jumping Jeep 2.0, another jumping focus creation. I mean, look at the camber on those wheels. That thing's made for some hard landings. So let's go do some, why don't we? Okay, there we go. Oh my god, <laughs> this thing's got some serious speed. I just broke the damn back wheel. You know what? I do want to go through this thing. I don't think I've ever been through this thing. Out of all the episodes, we've never actually had some fun with this damn thing. So now we have... Okay, I did make it up. Let's get as far back as we can. That's looking... Oh, oh, too far back. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it any further than this. That's good enough. Let's get some speed here and see if we can do a little jump. It's actually really bouncy, so trying to get a jump is damn near impossible. You know, that was just kind of like a hobble over it. So I'm at the top of the map because I'm curious to see if this thing can survive the dreaded fall. It does have a really good suspension system, but I haven't had any non-aerial based vehicle be able to survive this fall so let's try it shall we break the statue while we're going down oh yeah that's um that's not how you're supposed to land problem is this thing's so damn front heavy even if i'm giving a gas the whole time it's still going forward so i wonder i wonder if i can do a whole loop let's try that i'm gonna hit the brakes right at the fall here and well we hit our back end but nowhere near back onto our feet so yeah Safe to assume this didn't survive the big fall. Okay, and this next creation's pretty damn cool. Basically, it's just chain links with powered wheels. That way you can kind of warp it around. It's really cool to watch, though, just e even when you watch it fall. It definitely does start to look like chain links. Now, we're going to slow it down here, and when we actually power the wheels, it does do some crazy things uh, that are really fun to watch. Like, look, look at that wobble. That is so damn cool. All right, let's see how much of a knot we can get this thing in. Wow, <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in Besiege. So damn unique and cool to look at. Okay, so now I'm just curious to see how much destruction this thing can do. So we are at the castle once again here. Let's uh, look at the bottom of this thing, because I'm going to drop it, and it's probably going to do some damage right away. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look at Everything's gone already. So let's slow this thing down and actually start twisting it, and maybe it will do some more damage. Oh, yes, look at that. There's something really rewarding about this. It just, it, the, you don't really see anything like this in Besiege. Okay, and now I really want to see what happens when it just falls on the ground and I start doing this. So there we go. I have gotten rid of the attachment point. Let's speed this up a little bit. Coming down. <laughs> There we go, and turn it on. Oh my god, it's like a creepy-ass worm. This is awesome, because you can wind it into the point where it's about to, like, break, and then you just unwind it, and it goes absolutely crazy. And then you wind it up again, and do the same thing, and this is just such a cool design. So yeah, guys, this is called the Python 4 Hoop, another awesome design by Besiege This. Let's see if we can kill all of the cannons before it kills me. Safe to assume, yeah, we definitely got this. There's like three cannons left. Okay, and once again, we got another Ornithopter here and another Dragonfly as well. Now, I wasn't going to show this because we did show a Dragonfly very recently, but this one just performs better than any other Ornithopter that I've seen. It is so damn easy to fly. Why is my... <laughs> Why is my camera over here? Well, this is a different view, I guess. Oh, shit, I crashed it. Why? Why are you not following it? Follow the freaking creation, please. Okay, camera, don't fail me now. Yes, there we go. My camera has officially started working for whatever reason. I don't know what that was about. I actually had to restart my game. 
But, as you can see, this creation is just so damn great to fly. Look at it, it's a beautiful- oh shit, I hit the ground again. I mean, I, I can still fly it. I, I can still kind of fly- no, I can't. But yes, ornithopters are all the craze these days, guys, so I <laughs> hope you like looking at them, because I'm going to assume there's going to be a lot more in the near future. God damn it, I can't- I mean, it's great at flying, I just can't fly it, that's all. You can actually kind of do tricks with this one as well, because you can glide and still stabilize in the air, like you can do loops and everything, and if you get the wings right, you can do some seriously cool tricks. It just, th this one, just because of the gliding, I think, it works so much better than the other ones, I love it. So yeah, another awesome bug-like creation from the Besiege community. I gotta say, this one, my favorite ornithopter yet. Whoops. Okay, and next up, we got the Dreadnought. Now, this is a flying bomber. It's actually got four bombs on the bottom, so uh, you can drop each one, one at a time. Let's see if we can hit some things here. Going for the castle first. There we come. Bam! Oh, missed it. Try again. Oh, shit, I knocked my tail off. Is it, can, can I still control it? I can kind of still control it. Oh man, we're, we're, we're having a hard time though. <laughs> it is way harder to fly without that tail. Okay, come on, we're going back in. Come on, you can do it, you can make it. Oh, you can't make it, God damn it! Oh, that was pretty. That was, that was totally worth it. Okay, coming in hot. Let's try and get this thing. There we go. Oh, I, I hit it, but I exploded myself. I, 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 I was committed to the cause, guys. Very committed to the cause. And a bomb for you. There you go. I think I actually hit him. I didn't even really bomb him that time. And here comes a bomb for the peasants. I totally missed them and I exploded again. Clearly, uh, you should not hire me as a bomber because I just, I kill every craft I go in and generally I don't bomb the actual objective. But yeah, that's the Dreadnought. Nothing too uh, crazy in terms of weaponry or anything, but definitely a very unique design here. And it flies actually pretty damn well. Okay, let's just see if I can land it now. The, the landing test is always fun. This one? Oh yeah, not too bad at all because it is pretty much a hovercraft as you can see. So with the new release of the new sword map, a lot of people have been trying to create things with this sword. This is the Swordfish. It's actually the first kind of flying ship that I've seen that utilizes the actual sword to uh, use it. Where the hell? Holy crap is this fast? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, did I just hit a wall? This is bar none, the fastest creation that I've ever seen. I mean, look how fast it takes to go all the way up to the actual uh, ice zone. So if we keep going up here, bam, ice zone already. <laughs> that thing is so damn quick. Now, I also don't know if they patched it, but I saw that people could go to the moon as well. Now, for whatever reason, as you can see, I'm hitting some sort of invisible wall here. So that's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to make it over there to the wonderful moon, but there's an invisible wall in the way. Level design aside, I gotta say, in terms of a flying craft, this is one of the easiest ones I've ever used. And it's a sword. Like, how, how hilarious is that? Okay, and sticking with the sword, we got the Saber now. Now, this is a transforming sword that makes the sword slightly more badass. There we go. So now it's in Saber form, and we can actually get it out of the ground here. With This is in wait, wait, weightlessness, by the way. That's why it's kind of like floating right now. It's so beautiful. Look at this thing. Uh, you can make it go forward. I don't know how to use a lot of this. There we go. I am rotating it. Let's, let's try and stabilize it a bit here. There we go. I have turned on all jets and there's like some sort of like weird pattern going on here too. Look at You can see things like flying all around the place. It's oddly beautiful what's going on. I have no idea what it is but I like this design. So yeah, guys, that is the Saber Sword. I gotta say, very hard to drive, but very nice to look at. Okay, and here is a real design for the sword level. I just wanted to show this one to show you guys a different way to do the sword. This one, way better than my design. Let's see if we can catch it. Did I catch it? I did catch it, haha. <laughs> okay, then it's as easy as assuming I don't hit anything with the damn sword. We're just gotta go over here, excuse me. Thankfully, this is a digger, so... Actually, can I, can I lift this? That would be great. I gotta get this sword up. All right, that's gonna be a good enough. Unfortunately, you're not supposed to catch the sword sideways because, well, it's a lot harder to drive. But uh, let's fight it here and try and get through. <laughs> I'm slowly making it. This is one of the better uh, designs that I've seen to complete this level, though. So there we go, done. Uh, technically, I've already completed it, but uh, yeah, worked really well.
All right, and next up we got a dozer here. It's been a while since we've seen a new track design, only because with the Besiege update, a lot of the track designs were actually broken. Now, Besiege this made this awesome little design here. This thing just looks like a beast. It's also got a really nice uh, actual front dozer here. You can rotate it. I believe you can put it up or down as well. Yes, you can lift the bucket as you can see. It uses actual hydraulics to lift it. So let's go and uh, doze the peasant town, I guess. I've missed you, my wonderful peasants. It's time to doze down your town. Uh, this thing should be totally invincible as well. I don't think it has any wood or anything to uh, worry about. So yeah, this thing is just a serious beast of a little tank. I'd like to see some more designs with these tank tracks because they're not very fast, but they are extremely stable. Okay, and just out of curiosity, I want to see if this thing can break down the castle. I don't think it's going to be able to, but I'm going to give it a run for its money. We did break down the wall, but we got to break down this middle thing. I'm going to give it an, an, another run at it. Okay, come on, baby. Don't fail me now. Please break down the castle, because there's nothing more rewarding than destruction. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I wonder if I can, like, wiggle myself in there and maybe break it. So if we kind of whack it from the side here, yes, now it's crumbling. <laughs> oh man, that is great. It's actually kind of a struggle to actually bulldoze it down. And usually when, you come, when it comes to destruction with this thing, it just either totally destructs or does nothing. So I kind of like the challenge of using the bulldozer on this place. And let's just clean up all this rubble here. There we go. Move it out of the way. You guys don't need this anymore. Oh my god, it actually works really good as a generic bulldozer. I mean, look at that. It's so clean now. I mean, just avoid the blood, but it's it, it's clean at least. So next up, we got a time bomb here with an actual clock on the front to watch the time go down. And I placed it by the castle just to see a little more destruction, but look how perfectly it fits here. I'm pretty damn proud of this. Like, it is, it is perfect in terms of length and width. Anyways, let's uh, start this thing up, and I'm assuming it's going to blow up on uh, the uh, 12 o'clock, so let's actually, let's get it really close and slow it down. Yes, let's see how accurate it is. It better be right on it. Oh, a little early, but still an explosion, a timed explosion. I think that's the only one I've seen in Besiege that's an actual timed explosion. That was also a very awesome explosion, nice and slow, and look at that, it has demolished the wall. And next up, we got this awesome truck here. Now, this one really caught my eye because of how much went into it. I mean, look at these wheels, even. The amount of engineering that went into these, I don't even know. Is that a swivel joint attached to a grip pad, attached to a wheel? That's amazing. But what's even more amazing is this turning mechanism down here. I mean, look at this. It has back and forward steering, and it uses, like, I don't know. I, I, I can't even explain this, but it is really impressive how much time and effort went into this creation. Now, that being said, this obviously works great as well. I don't know if it's going to be able to break this. Oh, it did. Oh, wow. It actually knocked it down a little bit. I I really wish they would make some off-road maps because things like this on an off-road map would be so damn fun to try, but I'm intentionally making rubble here to try and climb on over it to see how good this thing is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> There's rubble everywhere. It's having a hard time getting grip, but it is slowly moving. Come on. You can do it. This actually reminds me a lot of uh, spin tires, and I did lose a wheel here, so... Uh, that's not good, but I think we can get our, our, ourselves out of this. Oh, never mind. Another wheel gone. We, we we only got six left, guys. Can we make it? Oh, yeah. We, we, we made it. I mean, it, the, the truck has seen better days, but it is still moving forward. Never give up, my friends. Never surrender. Look, there's even a nice little flag on here. I, I, I like the added detail. And next up, we have quite possibly the cutest little walker ever. I just love the way it walks. It reminds me of a businessman late for his meeting or something, and he's trying to rush around. That being said, it does work remarkably well, and it does have a drill on the front, so we are at the perfect place to see this thing drill right <laughs> through the freaking castle. That was awesome. It did break apart, but that was seriously some good destruction. I want to see that again, because destruction is always fun. So here we go. Bam, right through again. No problem at all with that drill. <laughs> so that wraps it up for another episode of Besiege's Best Creation, guys. I hope you enjoyed this very Christmassy episode, which wasn't really Christmassy at all because, well, it seems like the Besiege community is a bunch of Grinches that don't want to make Christmas creations. Regardless, I hope you guys have a very happy holidays. Whatever you guys celebrate, just be with your family and have some fun. Thanks so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for an awesome 2015, and let's have some fun in 2016 as well.